So let's talk about chewing. Without a shadow of a doubt, your puppies are going to go through a chewing phase where they're wanting to chew anything and everything and probably things that we don't want them to chew. However, if you can understand why they're doing that in the first place, then we might have a little bit more sympathy for them. So the two of the main reasons that they're chewing is teething and exploration. So let's talk about teething. At about 12 weeks of age, puppies' jaws will become stronger and that's when the adult teeth will start to emerge through, which can take quite a bit of time for them to come through. At that stage, it is really painful for our puppies' jaws. So what they're going to be doing is seeking out items to chew to help alleviate that pressure. So it's almost like a pain relief. And what chewing does is it releases lots of nice endorphins and it helps make our puppies feel calm and relaxed. And it's almost like a stress relief. So it's really important that we ensure that they have plenty of chews in the environment during these stages. So the second reason is exploration. So puppies want to become familiar with the world and to do this, they're going to explore the world. Now, as human babies, we use their hands to explore the world, but dogs don't have that. So for them to explore, they use their mouths. So they will put in their mouths anything that they can find while they're going through that explorative phase. So how do we deal with the chewing? Well, what we need to do is not look to stop the behaviour because that would be unrealistic, but we need to manage the environment and provide appropriate outlets. So step one, manage the environment by puppy proofing your home. Go back to your puppy proofing video if you need a reminder. Do not leave any items out that you don't want your puppy to chew. So things like shoes, socks, slippers, remote controllers, you name it, whatever's there, puppy will likely have. So if it's out and puppy grabs it, that's your fault. So you need better management of the environment. If puppy's going to chew things that you can't manage, so skirting boards, sofas, furniture, etc., then what you need to do is watch your puppy when they are in that chewy mood. So make sure you're around so you can redirect them onto something else more appropriate. Or when you are not around to manage them, make sure that they are safe. So in their den area would be somewhere to pop them that's a little bit more appropriate to ensure they don't chew up the house. So we do need to give them appropriate outlets to chew. So if you go back to the first video on this course, it will give you a list of items that I recommended. So chews, toys and enrichment. Lots of things that can be put in the environment that puppies can go to um, instead of chewing what you don't want them to chew. I have got a list of safe chews on there. So ones that you can kind of leave in the environment on a day to day basis that you know is safe for puppy. Um, and then I have also listed a few edible chews, which are a little bit more tasty. And I think they're nice to give on an ad hoc basis. Um, but they are ones that you should monitor puppy with and not leave them unattended with. So the likelihood is puppy is still going to go and choose something that we don't want. In this situation, we need to avoid saying no or shouting at our puppy because this could cause a breakdown in relationship with our puppy, but also it doesn't teach them what we want them to do instead. Also, we need to avoid pulling them away from the item that they're going to chew because this could form a negative association with handling or we could increase resource guarding issues. So in this situation, all we need to look at doing is teaching them a positive interrupter. And this is basically a little noise that will get our puppy's attention to get them flying back to us a bit like a mini recall so that we can redirect them onto the behaviour that we want them to do, which is giving them a toy or a chew. So to teach the positive interrupter, this is really easy. All you're going to need is some of your dog's food and to decide on the noise that you want to make. So I'm just going to use a kissy noise like to get my dog's attention and I'm going to pair that with a treat. So all you're looking at doing is saying the noise to your puppy and then treating them, okay? What I suggest you do is just get 10 treats, um, do it 10 times in a row and then repeat at another time of the day. Okay, and I'll just show you now with Lenny. Lenny. Good boy. 
So as you notice there, all I did was just use that attention getting noise when he had something that I didn't actually want him to have. Um, so this would be the same if your puppy was chewing something that you didn't want them to chew at the furniture, um, etc. And once you know you can get their attention from something that he's just done, then you know you can start to utilize this in the situation when they're around the house doing something you don't necessarily want them to do. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it and if you're wanting more tips on all things puppy and how to train your puppy then don't forget to subscribe because there's lots more videos coming out over the upcoming months.